going to Soma? That's all this. We're going to Soma. Find some place to get something to eat. Anyway, uh, I got to pack my bags because the room is a mess that I cannot show you. how this works but uh i thought i'd try to share a little bit this little beautiful ride i can't put the camera up on my bicycle right now because it's kind of messed up uh the holder and stuff like that but this road <laughs> uh we just passed fukushima and so we're riding down towards uh soma and uh well, obviously it's a brand new road but it's just like the oceans right there by the way the tsunami breakers are over here and then you got Sendai over there and this road is like for a cyclist the only thing that would have been better would have been if they had actually a specific lane for cyclists and apart from that it's perfect <laughs> oh it's so nice so smooth so nice Yeah, so hey Tomodachi, we are now here at this uh, formerly abandoned school, I guess. Uh, during the um, during the uh, the tsunami, this is what it looked like right after the tsunami. So that's in 2011. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, yeah, that's about two months after the uh, that actually happened here. And so you can see the roof class of the corridor connecting the school building and the gymnasium all shattered, but the corridor didn't collapse for its sturdy structure. The corridor has now been torn down as the gymnasium, uh, but the tiles remain. Okay. Isn't that right, Ange? Sorry? The, the, the earthquake actually hit at 246. 2.46. So it's almost that time now. Yeah, okay. and so this is like a sun clock. You could see that the sun clock then goes over when it hits that big rock over there. Then that's 246, and then we know it's a memorial of what happened back then. We're going to go in and uh, have a look at the, um, the actual school over there. So there was something here for one point. That's where the shoe shelves are. This is a typical Japanese shogaku. Um, and now, obviously, it has become a memorial museum for the tsunami here. So this used to be the multi-purpose hall. Look at that. I mean, the things are still just smashed in there. Almost looks like Hulk came in and ran through this place. I don't know, it feels like a piece of biohazard or something, a game, a set from a game or a movie or something. It doesn't seem like it's real. Wow. You see that line up there? That line up there is where, how high the water came up. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Look at that glass wall, those thick glass cubes that are in there. Half of them have just been like completely ripped out. And this is originally what the school used to look like. That's pretty cool actually. Just imagine that there were kids that actually came to this school here. So what they've done is they've put this uh, glass edge right here and if you look under the glass edge, that's everything that was uh, underwater was under that glass edge. So you see, you can just barely see the roof of the buildings. He's actually the original uh, director of the school back in the day. どんな気持ち、いや、必死でしたね。はい。だって命
校庭で、えー、上の学年の子たちを待って遊んでる地域、科学年の子、1年生、2年生、そういう状況でいました。校庭で遊んでた子は、ちゃんと丸くなって、座って、待ってました、指示を。私が上に上がれ。じゃ、結局みんな上に登ったんですか、学校。上に上りました。その時はもう下が水全部流れてる感じですか。ここ、流れてました。ここまでですよね。天井のちょっと、ギリギリのところ、高いところは天井も使って。やばいですね。でも、上に登ったってことは、この時は無事に助かったってことですか。はい、全員あの、上にいた九十人。かすりする。一つ。なるほど。安心しますね、そういう話を聞くと。That's so good to hear. So all kids actually survived this by going up on top of the roof and just hiding out and waiting for everything to settle down. That's amazing. ありがとうございます、先生。もういきなりのインタビューでしたけど。<laughs> yeah, wow. Yes, I hope you got all of that out of the Kocho Sensei. So he was the former、uh, principal here at the school. And so、uh, when they got the information about the, the tsunami actually coming,、um, they were told that they had 10 minutes. Before the,、uh, the tsunami would actually hit. Now, had they had an hour, for example, they could have all walked over to the other side of the, of the edge over here and then crossed the street and then gotten up on high land.、Um, but they were told 10 minutes. So the,、um, the decision he made was to get all the kids to go up on the top roof and then just sit up there and wait for the tsunami. And then they must have sat up there on top of the Of the roof while everything just plundered through underneath them. It's been an incredibly scary feeling to be sitting in that situation. I can't even imagine how that would feel like.、Um, he、uh, figured that because of the way the building is made, that it was able to withstand it. But also, when you think about it, there was only the water coming through. So there was no other debris from other buildings and, and boats and, 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 and buses and, and, and cars and stuff like that coming through.、Uh, and he's also considered that this was probably one of the things and reasons why、uh, that they were all able to survive. But all kids survived. Isn't it a beautiful story?、Uh, beautiful story. I'm really happy about that.